This is Bumper to Bumper TV. It was originally conceived as a mid-sized light-duty truck that didn't occupy a lot of roadway space, but still gets the job done. The Chevrolet Colorado and its corporate cousin, the GMC Canyon, are the latest incarnation of the smaller truck. The test vehicle was the ZR2 Bison trim level, which is a collaboration with aftermarket manufacturer American Expedition Vehicles. The long and short of the partnership are the visible touches, like a special front grille, front and rear bumpers, and fog lamps, which are nice cosmetic features. Under the frame, AEV also installs skid plates under the fuel tank, transfer case, and rear differential, so taking it off-road is not a problem. Along with 17-inch wheels, this version was definitely able to rough it on something other than pavement. The test vehicle was a crew cab setup with accommodations for four. A fifth passenger would be uncomfortable in the second row, but there is storage under the seats if necessary. In the front, there is an additional reminder of the AEV connection on the seats. We also like the functionality built in with a wireless charging pad between the seats and a Wi-Fi interface which can come in useful for both work and play. To move all of this around, Chevrolet opted for two engines, one in the expected 3.6 liter V6 power plant. But the test vehicle had something different under the hood thanks to the folks at Duramax Diesel. A small but mighty 2.8 liter turbocharged four-cylinder motor was more than up to the demands that a driver can put on it. It is rated at a mere 186 horsepower while delivering 369 pound-feet of torque. Fuel efficiency may not be in the upper 20s, but the trade-off is capability. We found that at normal operating speeds, the engine is relatively quiet like its gasoline counterpart. For the record, the transmission on the diesel model is only a six-speed with an optional four-wheel drive The gearbox never has to strain under a heavy load. The Colorado is rated at 5,000 pounds tow capacity. That translates into enough power to pull a small to moderate trailer with ease. We found the ZR2 a nice upgrade over the base unit Colorado. An emphasis on upgraded suspensions and handling should give serious off-roaders some confidence. We also noted that the cargo bed on the crew cab version is only 5 feet 2 inches long, which could be a challenge for some contractors loading supplies. However, for outdoor sports enthusiasts, it checks off almost all of the boxes for something to take into the woods, across the desert, or down to the shoreline without a second thought. For folks who want a truck but not something unwieldy, the Colorado may be an option to seriously consider. I'm Greg Morrison.